Welcome to a short video on the new My Questions feature of the QualityNet Question and Answer Tool. The new QualityNet Question and Answer Tool was launched in ServiceNow on October 21st, 2019. The My Questions feature is an enhancement to that initial release. This My Questions enhancement allows user to query the tool to get an emailed report on the status of individual questions or the status of the most recent questions associated with a specific email address. The information in the report will include data from the new Q&A tool as well as the legacy tool. A new My Questions icon appears on the main screen of the Q&A portal. The My Questions feature may also be accessed from the icon on the persistent header at the top of every page in the tool. Here, we will click on the icon in the portal page. First, let's explore a summary report based on an email address. Remember to use the same email address used when your question was asked. After entering the email address here, click the CAPTCHA, then click Submit. After you click Submit, you will see a confirmation screen. You will not see the report results here. The report will be sent to the email address used in the request. Please note, if you now have a different email address from the one used when you submitted the question, please reach out to the QualityNet Service Desk for assistance. Soon after your submission, you will receive this report by email. Let's look at the report in detail. This summary report will collect data from the current Q&A tool as well as the legacy tool. In this example, the data is presented from two current tool questions and five legacy tool questions. At the top of the report, you will see the email address. For the current tool data, you will see the short description, the case number, the status, the date created, the date of the last update, the program product associated with the question, and the question topic. For the legacy tool data, you will see the subject, reference number, status, the date created, the date of the last update, the product ID, and the category ID. Please note, at the bottom of the report is the contact information for the QualityNet Service Desk. The information in this summary report may be used to explore a more in-depth search on a particular question by requesting an individual report using one of the case or reference numbers presented here. Now let's explore the option for submitting a request with a reference number from the legacy tool. Enter the reference number, select the CAPTCHA, and then click Submit. After you submit your request, you will see a confirmation screen. You will not see the report results here. The report will be sent to the email address used in the original request. Let's look at the report in detail. In this report, you will see the email address, the reference number, the current status, when it was created, when it was last updated, the product, and the category that were used when the question was first submitted. It also includes all the information we have in what is called the thread. The thread contains the original question that you submitted and all the correspondence from CMS regarding your question. And finally, let's explore the option for submitting a request with a case number from the new tool. Enter the case number, select the CAPTCHA, and then click Submit. After you click Submit, you will get a confirmation page. Once you get the confirmation page using any of the request methods, you will have the option to request a new report or return to the main page. Let's look at the email report generated from the new Q&A tool case number you submitted with your report request. 
in this report, you will see the email address, the case number, the current status, when it was created, when it was last updated, as well as the product and the category that were used when the question was first submitted. It also provides a short description and the full description, which is the question you asked. Comments would include any interaction between you and the people working on the question. The closed notes includes the answer to your question. If you have questions about these reports or any aspect of your use of the new QualityNet questions and answer tool, please contact the QualityNet service desk. Thanks for viewing this My Questions video.